Hello, I'm Mark McGowan, Premier of Western Australia, and I'm going back to school with Student Edge. Tell us, what were you like as a teenager? Uh, I was a lot quieter than I am now, uh, a lot more shy. Um, I tried hard at school. Uh, I, was, uh, I was very, uh, very attached to my parents, my brother. Um, I was good at history, modern history and ancient history. Were you too shy? Was that a problem for you growing up? Or were you just happy to be quiet, kept to yourself? Well, what happened was I changed high schools three times during my time at high school. So each time I changed high school, I became shy again, you know, because I didn't know anyone. And then, you know, you get to know people and then you change high school again and you become shy again. And uh, so uh, it takes a little while to get used to a group of people already have their set group of friends and that sort of thing. So I found that in high school. It actually did, because it stood me in good stead, actually, in my last couple of years of high school because I changed high school and that meant I studied a lot more. So. Uh, in year 11 and 12, changed school, and um, I went to public schools in, in the country. And um, I studied a lot more in year 11 and 12 than I otherwise would have, so it probably worked well for me. So what would you do then in your kind of personal time if you weren't necessarily hanging out with a bunch of people? How would you kind of buy the time? Was it just pouring yourself into your study? I did a lot of study. I played a lot of squash. I helped my mother and father a lot at the family business. I used to work all the time. Um, I'm not, not saying I didn't have friends, I had friends, but um, I, I, in the early years of high school I was much more social than in the latter years. Were there any subjects that you struggled with, yes. that you maybe didn't enjoy? Okay, so what were the ones you struggled with? Mathematics. Alright. Yeah, I wasn't good at mathematics. I tried, I really tried, but I just, I didn't have the confidence with maths and I always f would forget formulas and all that, so I wasn't good at it. Whereas other subjects like history, English, ancient history, I just clicked, I remembered things. So, yeah, I was good at one, one part of my brain works well and the other part doesn't. Now, I understand that you uh, got your Bachelor of Arts and then moved on to a Bachelor of Laws. No, I did them at the same time. Same time. So you got a Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Laws. At that time, did you know what you wanted to be and what you wanted to do after uni? Uh, well, I wanted to study law at high school because I wanted to do something that I, that, you know, I don't know quite how to put it. I wanted to do something that extended myself. So I thought that would extend myself and I did arts at the same time. So I did economics and politics as part of my arts degree and I did um, a law degree at the same time. And um, I found law quite difficult because there's huge amounts of remembering. Um, but, you know, a lot of people found that. So um, I wasn't unusual. And uh, what did I want to do? I, I, you know, I, I assumed I was going to be a lawyer, um, but I hadn't really thought that through. Were you already kind of politically active at that time? Did you think that in the future maybe some public service or, or working in politics? Uh, slightly, not really. I, you know, I joined a branch of the ALP. Bob Hawke was the Prime Minister. You know, Paul Keating was the Treasurer. They were quite inspirational figures for me. Uh, but I joined the party back when I finished high school, but I didn't really do much. And then I, um, no, I just really threw myself into my study. And I lived at a college at university, so I, I sort of got right into the college life and I found I came out of my shell a lot at college. What was that like going from, you know, country New South Wales, I believe, yeah. when you were in, in high school, and then moving into this college lifestyle? Was it a transition for you? Yeah, I loved my parents a lot. I loved, uh, you know, I liked my, you know, living at home was great, but as soon as I moved to college and, you know, you had freedom and fun and lots and lots and lots of friends and excitement in your life, it was like an awakening. So you ended up joining the Navy around this time after the degree? Uh, no, I was in my fifth year. Okay, all right. So when you make that transition, first of all, was that kind of an out of left field choice for you? Was that something that had been at the back of your mind or did you no. really want to change things up? No, I hadn't thought about it before. I tried to become a pilot. <laughs> okay. So I was in my fifth year and I thought I'm gonna go and try and become a pilot. I can become a lawyer later. I wanna fly jets in the Air Force. So I went and applied for that and uh, they just did the initial testing and I failed because my eyesight wasn't good enough. Uh, but I would have failed anyway because I'm not much good at maths. But I thought I'd try. And, um, and then when I was there they said, oh, you can, um, you can become a legal officer in the Navy. So they gave me the forms and I took them back to my uh, house, share, I was in a share house by then. And my dad saw the forms, he came to visit and he saw the forms and he said, you should look at this. And so I looked at it and I put in an application and I got accepted. So I. Um, it was just, it was a great experience. Lots of great friends, interesting work. I, I, I'd never complain about the Navy. So at what point did you kind of throw yourself into politics properly as an actual kind of career path? 
Uh, well, I settled on that that's what I wanted to do in about 1993, and I got elected in 1996. So it was a very intensive period. And how old were you around this time? 93, I would have been 25 or 26. Okay, so you're in your 20s. Did you feel like, okay, I'm entering politics now in my 20s. Did you feel as if you had to say goodbye to your 20s to a degree? Well, I don't, when I was 25, I wasn't in politics. I, okay. was, I thought that's what I want to do. Right. So I had to work my way through the party. I got myself elected to the local council. Uh, I got myself a position in the local branch. I got to know lots of people. And fortunately, I got pre-selected in 96 and I got elected at the end of 96. So it was a four-year period of working my way through, which is relatively brief from, compared to most people. I didn't throw my 20s away. I still had a lot of fun, but I, <laughs> but I was focused. As Premier, do you feel the responsibility of all the students who are going through under your stewardship? Do you, do you want to move the needle for them in any particular way? Uh, well, I want to make sure Western Australia has an outstanding education system and every student who wants to do well has the opportunity to do so. It's not just schooling. Schooling's one aspect. It's also family. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the predeterminant generally of how well a child does at school is the family interest in the kids in the child's schooling. So that's why my wife and I are very focused. I'm going to encourage every family to be engaged and focused and encouraging when it comes to their child's education. Children who don't do well at school generally have parents who aren't interested. When you look back on your teenage days, do you have any regrets? Oh, I have lots of regrets. Uh, I wish I was uh, more outgoing. Uh, I wish I, did, you know, there's no need to be shy or to be lack confidence. Um, you need to uh, realise you're just as good as everyone else. Um, but, you know, the positives of my upbringing were, you know, my mother and father and my brother. Um, they cared about me immensely. Um, and I cared, you know, I cared, cared and care about them. Um, but, you know, just have faith in yourself. Have confidence in yourself. Don't, don't get easily led by others. You know, if you feel like something's wrong, remember that it's, you know, trust your own instinct. Uh, there's lots of things you learn as you grow up that if you could go back and repeat it, you wouldn't make the mistakes you made. But, you know... No one goes through life never having made a mistake, and you've also got to accept that, that you will make mistakes in, your, in life. Don't let them get you down. Uh, it's part of life. It's part of growing up. <laughs>